Authorities say they have detained hundreds of undocumented Afghans during sweeps in Istanbul that began last month. Those detained are taken to secure locations where their fate is unclear. The detentions are creating fear among Afghans, says this refugee who asked not to be identified. They have been capturing Afghans without documents and they are deporting. People who do not have uh, documents, they are so much concerned. Uh, they cannot work, they cannot go somewhere. Uh, I would request to not do that because we don't have uh, a good situation back in Afghanistan. It's really horrible uh, stuff over there. Turkish authorities say they are only targeting those without documentation. But aid groups claim the government is not allowing Afghans to register for asylum. But the Turkish governments are decided to not registering them. And also they are uh, sending more power, more forces in the border, not uh, uh, letting, not let uh, more Afghan refugees to come, or maybe if they are uh, uh, able to cross the border, they want to push back to Iran. Turkey is already hosting nearly 4 million refugees who fled Syria's civil war. And the government says it cannot accept any more. Under the slogan, the border is our honor, the main opposition party is calling on the government to secure the country's border to prevent a new influx of refugees. It is creating some kind of tension uh, because of the uh, growing unemployment in Turkey and many Turkish citizens who are unemployed uh, start to see the uh, problem as if uh, the Syrians or the uh, maybe in the future Afghanis are taking their uh, positions. Many refugees have settled in Istanbul's neighborhoods that are electoral strongholds of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Growing resentment towards refugees is a factor behind the shock defeat of Erdogan's party in the Istanbul mayoral election two years ago, ending its decades-long rule of the city. Turkish authorities say they deported more than 10,000 Afghans between January through July this year. With the Taliban back in power in Afghanistan, this refugee pleads for compassion. Right now, my country is not in a position. It's not safe for anybody. So I request from Turkey government to help us. This is the situation. We need the help. But many here expect the crackdown to continue. Dorian Jones of VOA News, Istanbul.